Good afternoon, guys. I'm here live. Live at the McAllen facility. Looks like we have some, uh, some Patriots here. We got some Patriots here. America first! America first! America first! As you can see, they always have a child in tow every time we bring them here. Every time the bus is emptied, they have a child in tow. Many times they have people that are pregnant then they go to the Catholic Charities, as you've seen many times. There's two vans here. These vans will be emptied out. They have a bunch of illegals in them. We've seen this many times before. And we're gonna see it again. You can come here any time of the day. Any time of the day you will find vans, new vans, buses being, being emptied out of illegal aliens coming here. This happens all the time. America first. America first. When is this gonna end? When is this gonna end? Alex Jones, we love you. America first. As you can see, they built these tents bigger. We never had these tents here in McAllen. I live very close to this area and we've never had this problem before in our lives. Here we go, we got Border Patrol. They always come in. One of these vans will probably be full of pregnant women. They call these anchor babies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen have been empty so far from these two vans. Nineteen, twenty. America first. But Biden shouldn't be allowing this. And the 
FBI shouldn't be able to waive the background checks on people running. And we there. should be recording. People want to know. Biden has changed their job description. As you can see, we're on 15th Street, 15th Street and Business 83. They will empty this facility out. They will empty it and they will walk everybody across the street. We protest. I got a group of people that come here all the time and we protest. We protest, we hold up these signs, we hold up the American signs, and the reason why we do this is because we're getting tired, sick and tired of them coming in like, like it's nonstop. I mean, it is- And I'm told the women and children's only a fraction of the men are just coming in. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, sometimes you'll see vans come in and they're just pregnant women sometimes coming out. We know that's, that's anchor babies coming out so th this happens all the time and I get a group of people that come out here and, and we do protest we well, this do is protest Robert, Devin, this will be hundreds of thousands this will of I agree right? we need crowds like we have in Washington DC right that's what we need here on the southern border right we need good freedom loving yeah. people to come here ma'am tell us tell us why you're out here The, the, these uh, these security guards, they know us already. Yeah, I, we were here last week. The only reason I have this is because I don't want to no, I don't get docked. Yeah. I don't blame you, man. I live very close to here. Yeah, I don't blame you at all, man. I mean, you got cartels and all, you got everything. Like, don't take chances. And then, right around the corner, you got the Mexican. All right, you guys, I'm live again. I'm here at McGowan, the McGowan facility. And, uh, we have a great patriot here. We have Alex Jones here, several other patriots here. They're trying to expose what's, what's happening and the failure of the Biden administration. As you know, I've been out here many times. Many times I've, I've caught in a lot of video here. And uh, this is the McGowan facility where many illegals come in through. They get a manila folder, then they go across the street to the bus station or they go to the Catholic Charities out there. I'm on 15th Street and Business 83rd. We're gonna go walk over to Catholic Charities. So as you can see, I'm right here, right behind me. You got Alex Jones out here. Great Patriot, great, great Patriot. Uh, so we're gonna head out over to Catholic Charities. They're, they're gonna empty them. They're gonna process them here. Then they walk them out. Yeah, they walk them yeah. out to the Catholic Charity. Right. But my question is, what we can't figure out is, every time they come out of here, then they have those the, their identity paper with a little fucking picture on the right. top right hand corner. And there's a somewhere along the line they're getting a debit card with twelve hundred dollars. I on think it. they're getting it at Catholic, at the Catholic Charity. I think I'm right. not, I'm and not that's sure. That's what we're trying to right. establish. And I but also we, think we they saw get... them go in the front door, come out the back, get unmarked vans, and go to the airport. Right. I, I also believe they also get maybe bus tickets, plane tickets, yeah. and they're yeah. probably donated, probably uh, through some Soros fund or something. Oh yeah, I guarantee you. Uh, but when you think of the money on this, right? It's fucking because when we went to okay, the guys, airport, the Catholic Charity, it's like, all right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go see what these guys are doing here.
Uh, Alex, they kick, they they kick these guys out, the the the, the homeless out. Catholic chairs kick the homeless out. They got kids with no seat belts in the back. They're crammed in the back. Can you believe this? And this is from our late, the Basilica. Bunch of kids in the back. They grabbed a bunch of kids in there with no seatbelts. Four kids. Kids in the car go ahead. No way. Yeah, they're loud in the back. Your human smuggling is going to stop. right.
That's right. America first. No car seats. No car seats. Look at this. No car seats. On the laps. What organization is this? I want to know who the hell this is. No car seats. Gotta shake your hand, sir. God bless you. God bless you. This is the facility right here. So Stay here, keep getting all this. Doctor, you want to stay here a while? You stay here. This gentleman right here. We got a lot of attention right 